Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. So today Helena is at work and well it's uh, it's the last time that she's going to be there for I don't know how long because um, she got an email last night saying that the park was going to be closing after today. Today is Friday 20th of March. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's impacted us in terms of work, still don't really know what I'm doing about mine, um, but I've still got three days off so it might become clearer what I do or what they do and I've been to the shops so actually it wasn't too bad you know some of the main things obviously were were gone I like pasta and the toilet roll of course um, but just make, <laughs> making us uh, pick alternative things to eat so you know uh, could be worse. So yeah, this is just going to be uh, another daily vlog. I don't really know what I'm going to do actually. I've just done a bit of cleaning though. That's always something good to sort of, I don't know, it's, they say it's quite therapeutic, don't they? So yeah, just cleaned the surfaces in the bedroom, surfaces in the bathroom. I did the kitchen in the living room yesterday, I believe it was, or a couple of days ago. So I might get the hoover out later. <sighs> Exciting times. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, um, put down in the comments what you're getting up to with uh, all your spare time. Uh, any hobbies or anything that you've maybe picked up since being off. Um, I mean, it is true, I think, you know, what I've been reading about. It's made us sort of think, or made me think about, you know, not taking things for granted. And it's made me reach out to, to family members and friends that I haven't spoken to in, in quite some time. But yeah, let us know how you're getting on. So the dishwasher's on and I'm going to make a cup of tea now because I've just realised it's Friday which means that there is a new episode of Star Trek Picard. I am a big Star Trek fan. I've been a science fiction fan for probably all, all my life really. Um, my favourite sitcom is Red Dwarf which is set in space. Doctor Who of course, uh, Star Wars and then Star Trek as well. Um, but let's not get into the debate as to which is the best Star Trek series. Although you can put down in the comments below. <laughs> um, but I've been really enjoying this Picard series and it's so nice to see Patrick Stewart uh, back as John Luke. But yeah, it's episode... It's either episode 8 or 9 at the minute. It might be 9, so it's getting right towards the, the end. I just finished Picard. It was a really good episode actually. It took a bit of uh, time to get started, the series. I think it was about like three episodes where they were just building up the plot. Um, I mean I still enjoyed them but like the pace was a bit slower. And then from like episode four it's just been go 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 and then it finishes and you're like oh no I just want the next one. Which is what a good series should do. But yeah no that was a really good episode and it's really set up the finale. Uh, really well. I'm just excited to, to see it, but that'll be next week. But now I think I can hear other people hoovering, so that spurred me on to do it myself. It is currently 11 o'clock, and yeah, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna put on uh, an LP. Go in old school. I'm gonna go and have a look, see what I'm gonna put on. I think it's gonna be a bit of Elvis, and uh, we'll have that on while we do a bit of uh, a bit of cleaning. I'm still a bit bugged by the fact that we have uh, prints still on the floor. We <laughs> we haven't managed to organise yet where we want to put everything. So I might try and chat to Helma later on, see if we can actually get some of them up on the walls. Because at the minute, the only one that's up is uh, is the one that my dad took of uh, Newcastle, which looks great. Um, but I'd like to have some. Oh no, sorry, we've got the uh, the Mitchlacks up as well. Um, and that's just, I always love seeing that in the background, eat, sleep, create, and that's, that's what we're doing at the moment. Just quickly, I told you I was a bit of a, a sci-fi geek, 
Um, <laughs> this is a coaster that I've had for quite a few years. And it's, of course, uh, the original Star Trek cast, the trio of uh, Spock, McCoy, and uh, Kirk, phases on stun. We've got some cool coasters, actually. We've got, uh, got the Star Trek ones, and then uh, we've got some Friends ones, and then <laughs> this one. <laughs> I think um, my sister-in-law, my brother, got me this once. The best things in life have fleas. <laughs> so our record player. It's hidden away inside here. Um, this was my mum's originally, then my brother had it, but then my brother didn't really use it or have space for it, so then we got it, and I'm so glad. There's just such a different sound from uh, from records. Let's have a look. This is one I got Helena once, uh, Amy Winehouse. Oh, we got a bit of Queen. It's always good. Greatest hits. Fleetwood Mac, Helena's a big fan. Johnny Cash, Christmas. Don't think I can play that yet. <laughs> oh, I love this band. Um, Eels. I've actually got to see them live once at the Sage in Newcastle. But it's weird because their music is used in like so many films, but still not a lot of people know about them. Um, but what's great about their live performances is that they, they change it up. So one year they would be like really rock and they would make their songs like really rocky. And then uh, this one was like, I think they did it with an orchestra. So they just change the sound every time they go on tour, which makes it very unique and different. So ooh, I might put that on at some point. There's also, when I got this one, I think my dad got it for me, or my brother, it came with a DVD of the performance as well. But this, this is, this is the granddaddy. This was actually my granddad's, and uh, when he uh, passed, um, my mum uh, gave it over to me, and uh, it just always reminds me. It reminds me of my granddad, but it also really reminds me of my grandma now as well, because I used to... I used to stand at the side of the sofa with my guitar and we used to watch his live DVD and I used to uh, sing along and play and do crazy dance and they never once said that it was irritating, they never once said why don't you just sit down and watch it. Oh, I miss them but uh, I always think about them. And what's great about it is that it's, like, it's all different albums, so you've got Elvis in the movies. Uh, it comes with this as well, which is like a story of his life. I'm a big Elvis fan, by the way. Um, and then you've got, so it's all different images of him throughout his career. I don't think I've got these in the right order. Oh no, I have, yeah, that's one. So this is all early stuff. And then that's number two. Number three. Which picture do you like the best <laughs> of Elvis? You got number four. He looks a bit odd in this one. Then you got number five. And then, again, not the best picture they've chosen of him for number six here. Um, <laughs> I know they were going for like his later career, but he, uh, he doesn't look the best, does he? <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, and then I've realised, you might be wondering, why, why is his leg on the back of an album? Let me show you. So if you put all of these albums together, something happens. How cool is that? <laughs> do you get like the the albums themselves or the records you get a little jigsaw puzzle to put together as well <laughs> love it now I've got to decide which one we're going with number one we're gonna go we're gonna go right the way through let's see how far we get we're starting with his uh, with his early career so we got Heartbreak Hotel I was the one that's one of my favorite ones but like not really well known I don't think The hardest bit is trying to get it in the right place to start it. <laughs> That's close enough. I 
finished doing the uh, hoovering and I've just had a comment on one of our videos about how do you add subtitles. Um, a few of you have actually said that because you have some time on your hands that you'd really like to add the subtitles to some of our videos. Well, um, you don't have to, but you know, if you want to then, then certainly go ahead. Um, we're grateful for any subtitles um, that get added and uh, you can add them not only to the videos that have just gone out, but you can add them to our whole, you know, back catalogue. So you can choose any video you want and you can add subtitles if there aren't already ones on there. Um, and <laughs> it might be a way to go back and watch like some of our very early vlogs. So let me show you how you add the subtitles. Here it is. So we'll go on to, so on, we'll go on to our page here and then we'll go to videos. And then let's just go back. So I've just picked the Disneyland Paris January 2018 vlog because I know that this series doesn't have any uh, subtitles. So you go to settings, uh, you go to subtitles, and that will come up with add subtitles. So you press that. And then it takes you to a page. You select a language that you want. So it'll be, uh, it's English United Kingdom for our videos. Mm -hmm. And then you're away. What I suggest is you just remove the auto generated timing because it just means you have to shift around subtitles when you do them. So, just to give you a, a quick idea um, as to how it works, so I'll let this play. Hi, so, Helena said hi, guys. So, and then you press plus, move it into position. You know, it can be a bit fiddly first time you do it and just lengthen that out so that it lasts for how long Helena says and then when you want to add the next one just type it in again here press add and then you just go all the way through the video if there's uh, music that comes on we just tend to there's a couple of ways you can do it there's no right or wrong but we just write uh, in brackets music and then yeah just go all the way through um, and then you just press submit contribution and then that'll come through to me. I'll give it a quick scan, change anything if I have to, and then it's all done. So yeah, I'll do a, I think I'll do a more in-depth video uh, on the channel soon. We want to try and make our channel as inclusive as possible. Um, so yeah, if you speak any different languages and you want to translate them, then you can do that as well. But yeah, there's no, uh, you don't have to. <laughs> I'm just stressing that now. <laughs> But I just thought I would talk it over because some people asked how we did it. Quite a few hours have passed and I'm not gonna lie, might have had a nap. <laughs> uh, but then I got up from the nap and I was like, you know what, it's not four o'clock yet and I've already got a video filmed and it's already ready to go. I was like, what's the, what's the point in waiting? Let's just put it out, so. <laughs> um, so yeah, well, it would have already gone out now. I think it would have gone out yesterday. Um, so yeah, that's the pop vinyl uh, collection video, and that's number four. Um, might be a little while before the next one, but I hope you enjoyed it because it was just something that I thought was quite a nice, uh, light-hearted video, and also about a different subject matter, which uh, which I think is always good to switch off for a bit. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that. I still can't remember where I got that Buzz Lightyear pop vinyl from. But uh, it's 15 minutes to go, and what I'm really enjoying is actually doing the premiere. Um, so being able to interact with you while the video goes out. Um, so we might even be doing one for this video now. And uh, we just really love engaging with you, so, so keep it coming. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. So we've done the premiere of the video and I've just gone on to Subtitles Community and someone's done our travel day, Walt Disney World. Oh, thank you so much. So what I'm going to do now is I'll watch through it and then I'll be able to publish those. Oh, I'm very blue. It's, <laughs> it's because of the blinds that we have in here. <laughs> Uh, Helena's actually, uh, she's back from work, uh, that was her last day for 
well, we don't know. I've just watched a press conference from the Prime Minister and obviously they brought up all the stuff about uh, people whose jobs have been let go and people who are on zero hours and stuff like that and the things that they're going to introduce, the financial aid, so that might uh, hopefully help Helena. Those are the developments. Um, just wanted to briefly touch on it. I'm not going to talk about it too much just because uh, I like to try and stay, uh, you know, upbeat and positive and focus on other things. Um, but it is important to, to mention. So uh, hopefully uh, Helena will be with you in the next clip. So pizza's in the oven with some dough balls. It's a pizza express. Hoo -hoo. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's here. It's me. Yeah, I'm feeling okay actually. Like, just got to power through. <gasps> I've missed you. Yay. I saw my parents oh. very quickly. We went for a social distance walk around the park. <laughs> yeah. We waved to Martin from the we window. Did. Yeah. <laughs> I waved back. I, I I wanted to do like the elevator thing. You know where you oh, pretend yeah. that you're, you're disappearing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> right. Let's have some pizza. Apologies for the state. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Literally need to go have a shower um, but look at this so I met my parents really quickly and they gave us a little like care package with some food in and also my favorite little flowers to have around the house some daffodils because look at my current ones <laughs> I think they've had it bless them so I'm gonna pop these in Yay, there they are, and wait for them to bloom. I absolutely love having daffodils around the house. So we're gonna make some tea now, but instead of making just one cup of tea, we're gonna actually uh, open up our Mrs. Potts <laughs> and have a couple of cups of tea and some Easter eggs. Oh, yes. Well, finally, how long have you left me here? What kind of voice Mrs. Potts has got now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't break it, Martin. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> and then there's the lid. <laughs> oh, that's light in my day, look. <laughs> All right, how many tea bags do you normally put in a teapot? When I'm at work and I'm, I'm acting as the runner, when we're doing one of our little teapots, we put three in. So that's what we're doing. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I've put the milk in chip. <laughs> oh jeez, you just scared me. <laughs> oh hell the red me jump. It's Gary Barlow and Ronan Keaton from their homes. He's doing a different uh, it's called the Cruiser Sessions. And he does a different song with a different artist every day. I think he started like four days ago. I love Gary Barlow. <laughs> Here's our little setup. Now I'm guessing that I've got the buttons and you've got the cream eggs. Is that right? Well, I like both, so. Well, it's Which up to you. Do you want? I, I don't mind, I'm easy. <sighs> Tough decisions. I'll have the buttons, actually. Will you? Oh, that surprised me. I'll have to swap it over then. <laughs> there we go. Right. Shall I pour? Yeah, what are we going to watch? I thought we were watching Call the Midwife. Or mm. do you want to watch a film? Do your Mrs. Potts impression. I did mine earlier and it was awful. Um, <laughs> off to the cupboard with you now, Chip. I love that it's always the same line, isn't it, whenever? Is that what you do as well? <laughs> I was trying to, no, I did, I did a voice like where we'd, we'd left her for ages and she was like, <laughs> where have you been? <laughs> Off to the cupboard now with you, Oh chip. no, I'm scared. Is it going to go everywhere? I thought you... Oh no, oh, no. it's leaking. It's leaking out the mouth. It's leaking. Is it? No, it's not. It's just leaking down the front. Oh, oh no. Oh no, we got a leaky one. No, we haven't. It's just, it's just the way that it pours. Maybe I'm not pouring it right. We've got a we've got a tray. No, you hold it. A tray flood. We're going to get the kitchen roll. Oh, oh no, you're no, you're just doing it. Seeing what the issue is. Oh, make sure you do it over the tray. Maybe you've just got to be fast. 
I think you've got to be fast. Oh, there we go. Yeah, chip works. <laughs> chip works. <laughs> just a little. Bit. Oh no, <laughs> it's just spilling everything. <laughs> this, it was meant to be a nice, relaxing tea time. Instead, we're just making a mess. <laughs> we try and use, be sophisticated and use a tea pot. <laughs> <laughs> More hassle than it's worth. She looks good though. I've, I've got to get my milk now. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. No, no! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe, I think this was the wrong decision for milk. Yeah. But it's just that I wanted him to be next to Mrs. Potts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting picky. So we're loading up iPlayer because we're going to watch an episode of Call the Midwife. Yay! <laughs> um, oh. oh, you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, it. this makes no sense if you don't watch Call the Midwife, but my favourite is Phyllis. <laughs> no, I love Phyllis. I think my favourite forevermore and always will be Trixie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you love, you love I love Trixie. Trixie. <laughs> what were you going to say before that? I was going to say um, I'm really excited because tomorrow we're filming our top 10 things we want to watch on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, yeah. And that will probably go out either Sunday or Monday um, yes. because then Disney Plus goes up on Tuesday. And then on Tuesday we were just chatting and yeah. obviously we're at home now. So we're going to spend the whole of Tuesday watching, hopefully... <laughs> all of the top 10 the things that we want to watch we're literally going to have like a disney plus launch day where we're just going to watch well hopefully all the 10 things you mention and if they're a series we we'll have to watch, watch one. one episode yeah but we thought that'd be quite fun to document as well <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> see if we can manage it i mean we'll literally be watching tv all day but it's all right. We're at home. That's fine. That's what they're telling us to do. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> I'm just following the rules. <laughs> but it might be quite fun as well um, as a vlog. I'm yeah. so excited for Disney Plus. Like, I'm excited. I'm, I really am. Yeah. Really, really am. Um, but we think we'll, we'll leave this vlog here. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much for watching, as always. Uh, thank you for your love and your support. We yes. have had some wonderful messages. We've and had some lovely. We've got a lovely email as well, yeah, yeah. lovely messages. Yeah. Um, We're taking care of ourselves and we hope you're taking care of yourselves as well. Yeah. And we will see you in the next video. Yeah, stay safe. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>